feeling good, man. I'm feeling nervous. I'm excited to see her in her dress. It's been a year or more, uh, over a year, of hearing people talk about the dress, and I'm so excited to see it. <laughs> Yeah, but, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> oh, oh, don't God, cry, don't, don't cry. Are you having a good morning? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see the dress. I haven't really looked at it. Oh my God, it's lovely. Oh, and you got a little train too. Beautiful. You look amazing too. Oh, thanks. gathered here today to witness the love and commitment that Brandon and Aaron have for one another. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. For Aaron and Brandon, it was that fateful spring break. <laughs> <laughs> what I've personally seen you two do together has been nothing short of inspirational. Always looking for the next adventure, and what better adventure there is than marriage. Marriage is the promise between two people who love, trust, and honor each other and commit to spending their lives together. The ceremony does not create a new relationship between you, but instead a symbol of how far you have come over the years. The challenges you face, you will face together. And no matter how much you succeed, you now succeed together. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Brandon, one thing I love about you is that every decision you make has a purpose or a greater goal. It seems whatever you set out for, you find a way to achieve it. Whether it's building a van or traveling the globe. But what I am most grateful for is that one of those things, <laughs> one of those things you set out for was me. And man, were you persistent. <laughs> I've never felt something so natural, so true or so infectious as falling in love with you. I just don't have anywhere else to go, right? <laughs> Throughout our five years together, I've learned that nothing is scary when I'm with you because you touch me when I fall, root for me to do my best, 
and support me in all matters. I vow to give you that same love wherever life takes us, because you are my home. I vow to continue being that boost of energy that makes you smile, to have spontaneous dance parties in the living room, whether you like it or not, and to get rid of all those spiders. <laughs> I always promise to kiss you goodnight. I vow to share our lives together as partners, each other's best friends, and other half. I love you. And when I look at you, I feel grateful. Grateful to have met you on a spring break cruise. <laughs> grateful that you said yes to dating me, even though I was halfway across the world at the time. I'm forever grateful to have met someone audacious enough to live a life of adventure, even if it means living in a van down by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful to have found the love of my life, and undeniably my better life. I knew I loved you after just a week of knowing you, which I know is crazy. <laughs> Every day since then, I have felt like the luckiest guy in the world to get to experience life with you by my side. I had no choice but to fall in love. You swept me off my feet, and you showed me how much fun life can be. However, love is a choice we make every day, and Aaron, I promise to love you every single day for the rest of my life. I promise to be grateful every single day that I have the privilege to share the adventure of life with you. You're the best thing to ever happen to me. You're the light of my life, my soulmate, and my best friend. I promise to never stop trying to get you to fall in love with me over and over again throughout the rest of our lives. I promise to be by your side through it all, through everything life throws at us, because we are partners. It's us against the world, and as long as we stick together, we can't lose. Aaron, do you take Brandon to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, Honor him and keep him in sickness and in health. And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Brandon, do you take Aaron to be your wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. It's my great honor and privilege to present for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Copeland. Brandon. <laughs> Yeah, Riella and Mikey! Shots, 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 shots. 
Ladies and gentlemen, a little louder. Let them feel the love.